Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel of another dodgy review of another dodgy product. This time, uh, like the last video, we've gone a little bit off a uh, normal topic, so it's not necessarily Lego related. Uh, this time I ordered a, a replica watch, I'm going to call it, I'm not going to call it a fake, uh, from DHK. Uh, reason being is because I ordered myself um, quite a high quality replica watch a few weeks ago. Um, spent a fair bit of money on it, um, but mainly because it's a replica of a really expensive watch. I would never in my lifetime be able to own one of these watches. Um, but it turned up in an amazing box with a certificate of authenticity. It um, comes with all of like, the little extras. It's stunning. I've never held one of the originals, but I can imagine it's very similar. I, there's obviously going to be differences. Um, but for the odd time that I will wear this watch, it makes, let's say, it makes no real difference. So I'm going to leave, I'm not going to tell you what it is, because that's going to be a video for another time. That's going to take a bit more time and effort to put in. Um, but what I did was, I spent, obviously I spent a bit of money on that one. And what I want to see is, how much value could you get for a replica watch on DHK and AliExpress? So I started looking through. Uh, I initially looked at the um, tag Red Bull Racing Formula One watch. Um, I quite like that. The only problem I saw with it is, the, the one on their website, uh, the strap didn't quite match the original, what I saw on the actual tag uh, website. So I was a bit dubious on that. And that was obviously a little bit more money as well than what I was kind of expend, uh, looking to expend. So then I thought I like uh, the Breitling Endurance watch, um, which has got a rubber strap. Uh, it looks quite heavy duty. Uh, it's got chronographs, it's got the date. So I thought, well, let's give that a try. So I've managed to find one on DHgate. Uh, I spent £28.21 on that watch. The original watch from a company called Beaverbrooks in the UK is 2750 So that's a saving of £2,721 for a kind of... It's, I say, there are differences. Um, I've looked very closely at pictures of both, and you can tell if you're up close. Um, but I would say from two metres away, three metres away, you would be very, very hard pressed to see the difference between the original and the one that I bought. So I ordered it on the 21st of March. It turned up on the 1st of April, which was really quick. Like uh, they have, all the deliveries I've had recently have been really quick. I actually know I've got a pair of trainers on the way at the moment. They're taking their time. Um, I got a notification that they are now in the country. Um, but I think it was more seller's side rather than anything else. I think they took a bit of time to ship. Um, so, okay, so the package, this watch turned up in a white Jiffy bag. Uh, inside the Jiffy bag was this box, nondescript, no logos, no code numbers, anything like that. Um, in the watch, in the box, sorry, the watch came in some plastic, so bubble wrap and plastic sheet. And you get a really attractive fake leather cushion. Um, I, I won't lie, the watch wasn't even wrapped around this. It was just in the bottom of the box. Okay, right, so that's the packaging out of the way. So now let's have a look at the watch. What I'm going to do is, obviously you're going to struggle seeing from where you are. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my phone out. And I'm going to show you up close and personal the watch that I bought. So it's the Breitling Endurance Pro. Uh, I, ordered, I ordered the blue. I wanted the green. Um, because I really like uh, like dark green, but they didn't. Have, none of the shops I saw had it, and then my initial reaction was to get the orange. But the one user review that I saw that had photos, the orange didn't look quite the colour I was expecting. So I thought, let's be safe. Let's go with blue. To see how we go. Um, like I say, it's, it's twenty eight quid. I was just testing the water really of what you can get for what money. Okay, right. So now let me get my phone out and I will record it on that for you. As we can get up quite and get up quite close and personal really. Okay, right, so here's the watch. As you can see, the strap is the strap is one of the nicest things on here. Like I say, the the way they've done the lettering on that is brilliant. It's quite heavy duty. Uh, I'm gonna flip it over to show you the back before we show you the front. Uh, from what I understand, the back of this watch is very different 
to the actual real watch. I think the real watch has screws in the four corners, so you can take it off, but this is just like a normal clip uh, on the back. But they have been kind enough to stamp it with the word Breitling and the stainless steel. More Breitling logos and some code numbers. Right, so now here's the actual watch itself. Okay, so some of the stuff I've noticed, um, the numbers on the original don't have the little line. See, just off the bottom of the five and off the four and the three. I think that's a printing error in how they did this. I think there was a shift, because if you look at eight and seven, they're perfect, but I think the others have just been a little bit off. The numbers around the dial are actually embossed into it so it's not a print it's actual i'm going to try and get that for you uh indentation um the chronograph works so watch the second hand it's starting to go and stop restart chrono go back to the beginning i think the brightening logo at the top is just ever so slightly wonky see what i mean it just dips down to the right hand side um the dates function works. I say everything works. It's, it's a really comfortable watch to wear. Um, I When I first started wearing it, I struggled a little bit because where I've been used to an Apple watch, it doesn't have a dial sticking out the side. Not like this anyway. Um, but now once you're wearing it for about 10 minutes, it's really nice. The straps are really nice to, uh, to put on. Um, it's actually really kind of really thick and chunky. So it does sit off your wrist a little bit, um, which is actually quite a nice thing. Um, but what it is now, I'm going to get rid of this camera. Um, the difference. There, there is a difference. The printing is not as clean and crisp on this one as it, what it is on the original. But it's £2,700 difference. It's ridiculous. It's the cost of a second-hand car in difference. And if you want a watch that look, just looks nice, um, I would definitely recommend it. I haven't tested if it's waterproof. I'm never going to wear it where I'm going to need it to be waterproof. I will wear it out for a meal or something like that. I'm never going to go into the sea or swimming with it or anything like that. So I know with watches, it's very difficult because mm, there's a lot of time and precision and everything that goes into one of these watches. But £2,750 for a stainless steel watch that's not, it's not, pressure, it's not a precious metal. It's just precision engineering. But they probably have a factory where they make these by the dozens every day. But £2,750 is a lot of money for a nice watch. I know you can get other cheaper brands, but I wanted something that kind of I was a little bit show offy about. I say, I don't, I say I don't go out often. Um, but on the times that I do, it's, it's nice to wear a nice watch. Um, and for the cost difference, I say it's 30 quid. Um, all the functions work, as you can see, the chronograph works, the date works, everything like that. So I definitely would recommend it. Uh, so um, would I recommend it? Of course I would. Um, anytime you can save yourself a bit of money, I would 100% recommend it. Um, and it's not even a bit of money, is it? It's, it's so many, it's thousands of pounds. So definitely recommend it. So I've got another watch coming out, uh, another watch video. That one is a lot more impressive. Um, but that one is going to have to wait uh, a few weeks or so. So any recommendations, questions or tips, please put them down below. I will get back to you if you kind of comment. If you're struggling to find something on DHK or AliExpress, let me know. Um, I've come a bit of a, an expert in trying to find stuff. I actually enjoy the challenge now. Um, so I've helped a few people out recently with some links and I've had some requests through of what uh, people are asking me to try which I will be buying in the next couple of days. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got quite a few more videos planned. I'm trying to do a video a week at the moment, which is a lot more than what I have been doing, um, mainly because of work and the youngling and stuff like that. But now I'm putting a lot more effort into this. Um, so thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next one.